Last year, I got very excited about hopefully seeing if I could renovate this greenhouse economically. We put this gate up so that I could grow things in here. That was the first step. But it turns out to restore this would cost about 10,000 euros. So I decided not to do it. Instead, I made these little hot boxes. This one is full of sweet peas that I'm growing. This is what I could afford to do. These glass panels a friend of mine had sitting in her shed and I got somebody else to make the bottoms. I still have some of these left over to make more. This, this one here, I have seed trays in waiting to get results. This one is when the tomatoes are getting ready uh, to grow on after they've um, turned into seedlings. I then stake them and put in here. So nothing's in here at the moment. So this is empty. So I'm afraid my uh, progress for this greenhouse has not been very much. The stone is still here. Someday I'll move it to another location because it is kind of big. But that's a huge production and you need lots of people who are strong to move it. And with COVID and everything, you can't get people close together to lift a big stone like that. I've planted in here our fig tree cuttings and um, some columbine. But these are cuttings from fig trees and you can see they're rooting up nicely and budding up. So, yeah, you're very helpful, aren't you? So this is all, oh, I should close these, let the cold air in. No, we want to keep the warm air in. So, and I've got to do this one too. So basically, this is, um, uh, that is not helpful, Inca. That is not helpful. So basically, down the road, there's more things that I've potted up, seedlings for the garden, things I've moved from one location and I want to plant on somewhere else. See, those are lots of lovely foxgloves. I should really plant out ASAP. So these are, so this is kind of at this stage, but 10,000 euros is a lot of money during COVID. So, and it's probably gonna be more. That's one of our espaliered apples. Um, so the rest of the garden is up there. I'll be preparing that for beds, uh, for um, sowing soon. So sadly, no, there has been no progress in here other than doing basically what is happening here. Come here, out, come on, Pop. come on. Just the reason why this gate is here is to keep Azinka was walking around in one of the pots. So who knows, maybe in a number of year, a few years, I'll be able to afford 10,000 to put a glass and wooden or metal frame and recreate and restore this old greenhouse uh, that was, when I was growing up, it was alive and well. And it had, the water would fall and there was a trough here, you can barely see there and it would fit the wind rainfall would fill this water tank so i want to restore that water tank anyway if there's a drought time during the summer i might restore that water tank so uh yeah sadly this greenhouse is um not going to be um restored as of yet because i can't afford 10,000 euros is a lot of money for a restored greenhouse. And that's probably, it probably would cost even more than that. Um, that's only a guesstimate. And I've just been told steel prices have gone up hugely. So it would probably cost 15,000 to restore it. There's no point in doing it as a little mini polytunnel because it just, it wouldn't look right. So one day if, for example, if my patron page keeps going and building, I might be able to restore this greenhouse. It's an old Victorian greenhouse. So anyway, life goes on and there's other things to do in the garden.